Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. And uh, let's do a painting. Or two, or three, or four. Or maybe even more, who knows? What's happening? Beautiful people of the Grams. This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. Let's do this. Start doing a painting. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Check this out, Marcel. Dude, that's awesome. All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, man. I knew I was going to find something. I just need a big speaker, and then it'd be hilarious. we have done all kinds of cool stuff. All right, let's do this. Let's paint a painting. Don't you want to paint a painting? Come on, you guys. Let's paint a painting. Okay. Bye. All right. All right, here we go. There we go. Look, look, look. Yeah, that's how it's done. All right. So this is cool. All right, let's do a little boat because I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling like doing a little boat. Look at that. Yeah, it's gonna be a great little painting right here. Get some blue right here. And we get some. Let's 
There we go. And that's how it's done. Sun and stiff. Okay. Put some of this. Okay, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, a little bit of black. Yeah, I'm going to wave at you. You've been waved at. You've been waved at, waved at. Where are my beautiful people of Instagram? Say hi. Guys, you, didn't, you don't even know. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn how to master this DJ board. Hola Jose, hola, hola. How's it going? How's it going, Mrs. Valenzuela? How's it going, everybody? What's happening? Say hi to Manny for me, please. Kelly, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. So, uh, are you always painting from your imagination? Pretty much. Boom. <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> it's just, it's, it, my, 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 my laptop is, uh, doesn't have, um, I don't have a speaker tied to it. So, I, I, I'm going to put a speaker and then it's going to be super cool. I'm going to have all kinds of sound effects here in no time. We're going to make it super awesome. -o. Yeah, I'm, I'm for the most for the most part, I'm painting from my imagination, or or sometimes I'm I'm looking at an image, and I'm kind of extracting whatever I can from that image, whether it's a photograph or a drawing or whatever, in order to to make my my own painting. Right. The trick is to extract. The trick is not to 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 copy or try to paint the same thing that you're watching. Uh, the, the trick is to extract information from it and, and do something completely unique, right? Otherwise, it's not. Otherwise, it's not unique. You need to create something unique. Uh, the fact that you can see these things as, as a color value is so cool. Thank you so much. Do you work near trains? I sure do. I sure do. My my studio is right next to a. Uh, I was thinking, uh, it's, it's not right next to it, but it's pretty close. It's like two blocks away from, from a train track. Two or three blocks away. So we can hear the train here all the time. And then there's helicopters from time. I, I, I'm, my studio is, is pretty much right downtown. And so all the fun stuff of downtown. Of a city. All, all the fun stuff of a city is right here. I should have a I should have someone DJing. Man, I I need to hire someone just to be DJing behind me. Like be a hype a hype man. You know, a little turntable. And then boom.
look at that. Yeah, I, I think for, for a, a, a lot of artists out there, the, the hard part is, is uh, the fact that they have a, a, a daytime job, right? I think that's the that's that's what gets in <laughs> gets in the way, right? It gets it keeps getting in the way. I remember that when when I had my daytime job, I was like, "Damn, man, this thing this this thing called work keeps getting in the way." Uh, and then I I turn this thing into my work, and sometimes painting gets in the way of painting. I don't know if that makes any sense. So, for example, sometimes I want to I want to paint something, but I can't. Either I don't have time, or I didn't make time for it, or whatever. Something specific, uh, because um, I'm I'm sort of quote unquote stuck doing other projects that I need to finish, like a commission, or or uh, or um, uh, I end up painting um, uh, things that that pay me immediate money, right? As opposed to things that I'm going to go put on a on a shelf somewhere. Or make an uh, an art exhibit or something. Those things don't pay me immediate money, uh, and so th I have a few things that pay me uh, pretty quick. Right, I get paid pretty quick as an artist, and and those things are what keep my studio going for the most part, right? Because it's the it's the daily uh, it's the bread and butter of my of my of my studio, of my business. And so sometimes I'm like, damn, man. Sometimes I feel like painting gets in the way of painting, which is really weird, but it does. Batman on a boat. I love that. It could be. Flying Anya. Say hi. Let's see. Boom. Sarah. Say hi, Sarah. And Steph. Yeah, sometimes sometimes painting gets in the way of painting. That'd be, that'd be cool if it was Batman on a boat. Like, Batman. Yeah, for the most part, I'm painting out of my mind. Um, most of the stuff that I do is is, is uh, because I, I chose to paint in a simple way. It allows me to paint quite a bit. It allows me to paint a lot because I'm not constantly looking for references or or you know or trying to get things done the right way. I'm not. I don't do that. Right. I just I just go for it. I just go for it. Dude, this dude looks like he's just like like it looks like he's standing or they're standing, but kind of a little hunch. I wouldn't be surprised if they were peeing on the water. It kind of looks like that. They're just standing there peeing on peeing from the boat on the water. They're probably just drinking some brewskis. I don't know. It was supposed to be super romantic and I feel like I just ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be like one of those romantic paintings and I, and I just ruined it right now by saying that he's probably peeing on the water he's drunk as he's drunk as fuck <laughs> it could be he's like I'll catch up guys I'll catch up you guys you guys go ahead gotta gotta gotta, gotta finish my, my beers you know He's getting, he's getting the wrong ideas as he's peeing on the water. He's like, I might just go skinny dipping. Just throw myself in the water. Get embraced by the cold water. The cold weather in the water. Who knows? You can't trust people, man. Especially if you go out and, you know, go out to the lake, have some beers. You can't trust them. They go bananas on you. I prefer the Batman peeing. Yeah, it's probably Batman just peeing in his boat mobile. Or what is it? It's not boat mobile. It's bat boat. Huh? It would be his bat boat. Look at that. Oh, boom. boom. that look at the richness oh the richness in those brush strokes 
super, super, super amazing mundo. Let's make some very dark brush strokes so that way, that way they know we mean business when we're painting. Yeah, that's stuff. Let's see. Boom. You've been waved at. What's up, Pivak? I find painting water hard, but I learn new technique here. Absolutely. Take it all. Take the technique. Use it and abuse it. It's, it's, it's there for a reason. Let it soak in. Let it soak in. So just for that, this is what I'm going to do. Let's see. Hi, Jose. Subscribe to your academy today. And I'm looking forward to your workshops. Thank you so much, Cindy. I really appreciate that. Very cool. Very, very cool. Man, this academy where I'm teaching people how to, uh, how to market and paint the way that I do, it's, it's pretty cool, guys. I'm telling you. It's a pretty cool thing. Most artists out there don't, don't even want to teach this stuff. Especially the selling part, especially artists out there don't even want you to paint like them. They actually get upset. I remember, I remember, I met a couple of artists like that. They actually get upset. They start getting upset and they're like, they're like, yeah, yeah, come up with your own style. <laughs> I went to a couple of workshops, local workshops, and uh, I could, I could feel the tension. Like, damn, why are you teaching then if you don't want people to paint like you? Uh, and it's because artists don't, artists don't like that. You know, they just don't. But uh, I'm different. I'm a different kind of artist. I'm a mucho diferente kind of artist. I'm like, come on, learn from me. Learn my, learn my awesome ways. Because I, I know something. I know something that most artists out there don't know. Whether you want to or not, you cannot run away from your style. If you paint long enough, if you really do paint long enough, your style is just going to... It's just gonna pop out. Oh, it's just gonna pop out. If you really paint long enough. If you don't paint long enough, you, your, your style still pops up, but you'll, your work will look like someone else's, like the person you're learning from. It'll have hints of that. Um, and and that, that bothers also artists. It bothers artists uh, when they're learning. They're like, man, I, I need to get my own style. But I promise you, if you keep moving, if you keep moving, you keep moving, you're gonna start crafting your own thing. And it's such a beautiful thing. Once you realize that you're crafting your own thing, because like I said, you, you can't run away from your own style even if you wanted to. Look at that. Look at that painting. So I say to everybody, guys, look at this painting. If if you want to paint along with it, just uh make sure to make sure to, to give me some credit when you post it out there. But uh but learn from it. Learn from it. You know, watch the video again. Uh I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could show you the palette, but but usually I have my phone right here. When I show the palette is when I'm doing the actual workshops. By the way, it's when I'm doing workshops. I show you guys the palette, and boom. <laughs> so, so I opened up a, an app with all this uh, with all these sound effects from a, from a, like a DJ table, like a DJ scratch table. I'm having fun with it. I just am, you guys. All right, let's do another one. Uno mas, uno mas. Man, I got all kinds of I got all kinds of energy, and you know why I got all kinds of energy? Because like I jumped on that treadmill for like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn. Alright, let's do another painting. I got this. <laughs> 